Hi folks, today I'm making a bone awl using only primitive stone age techniques. First, I placed a large cow bone on an anvil stone. Then, using a hammer stone, the bone was broken into two pieces. One of these pieces will become the awl. Now, using a hammer stone, I struck a number of sharp flakes from a large piece of quartzite, a very common stone that I've found almost everywhere. Now the hard part begins. Using these flakes, I scored deep grooves along both sides of the bone. This is a labor-intensive process that took me an hour. Eventually, the scoring was done, and a few light taps with a hammer stone separated the blank from the rest of the bone. The next step is to abrade this blank against the grinding stone. This stage is also labor intensive, taking half an hour. But eventually I had the basic shape of the awl. The final stage is to polish the awl using a kunk fungus, making the tip as fine and as smooth as possible. Here's the finished product. So how well does it work? The bone awl punched clean holes through leather. It can be used as a pressure flaking tool to make arrowheads. It's also great for stabbing random objects. The bone awl is a very practical wilderness survival tool that can be made from common materials. This tool is at least 30,000 years old. It's one of the key technologies that allowed humans to colonize the northern hemisphere. What is intriguing to me is how long the bone awl was used. Contemporary technologies to the bone awl, such as stone celts, bow drills, and the atlatl, disappeared from common usage thousands of years ago. Yet the bone awl, due to a combination of low cost and high utility, remained in widespread usage in Eurasia up to the beginning of the Industrial Revolution. To me, that's just amazing. Anyway, thanks a bunch for watching. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. See you later. Bye.